Hi everyone, my name is Nick. Welcome to this Ball.com API developer video. The topic for today is the process status. Why do we have it? Why is it important? And what are the available options? So without further ado, let's dive into this topic. As you may or may not know, all the requests that you send toward our API, such as put, post or delete, are handled asynchronously. This means all the requests will be stored within a queue. When your request gets to be the first in line, it will be forwarded to another service within the Baldacom landscape. Using the process status endpoint allows you to determine if your request was successfully processed. When sending a data manipulation request to us, you receive a 202 accepted header and a process status ID. This ID shows your request has arrived in the internal queue. However, it does not mean it has been successfully processed. You can use the ID you receive to check the status of your request. Your request can end up in one of four statuses, either a success, a failure, pending, or a timeout. If the process fails, we will provide information on why it failed. When we are currently not able to process your request, we will return a pending status. After doing these retries, we will either give you a success or we will present you with a timeout. If you get a timeout, this means you will have to retry it again at a later time. The same is also true when we present you with a failure status. It is important to check your process status, because you need to know if, for example, your put shipment call, which you used to confirm an order, was successfully processed. If it was not handled successfully, you will need to fix the issue and try it again. So that's why it's important to always check the process status for any data manipulation request that you send towards our API. So this was it for the API process status. I hope you learned something valuable and I would like to thank you for watching. See you next time.